John eats cheap and one of Mrs. Cheap and I's favorites when it comes to fall is potato soup. And I've got several different potato soup recipes that I like to make. And this one is just really simple, simple, easy ingredients. I chopped up a couple of potatoes, a stalk of celery, just about a quarter of an onion and some bacon. So this is going into the crock pot, the taters. I actually only had one raw potato when I had one that was cooked. Add to that the celery, diced onions, and the bacon. So it's in there. Now we're going to add some chicken broth. I heated mine up, got it up to boiling, because I made it from better than bouillon, or you could use chicken bouillon, chicken broth, a can. I just want enough to cover all that stuff. Now crock pot, if it's morning, you're going to eat it for dinner. Put it on low all day. I'm going to put it on high just to get it done. And then we'll finish it off. All right, so we're about three, four hours in. Potatoes are, are done. So I've got it turned down on low. I am going to season it up. Of course, with potatoes, you need a lot of salt. So we're going to season it up with salt and pepper. Lots of pepper, too and add some half and half you can use i like to use whole milk but i got some half and half so i'm going to use that just pour that in there to cream it up a little bit just kind of like that that was about half of the half and half so maybe a cup now that looks a little runny i'm going to show you another trick too to thicken this up a little bit so you could use some cornstarch or make a roux, but you know, that takes a little extra time. Instant mashed potatoes. By the way, who invented this for the dispenser for mashed potatoes and rice? I don't understand it. It's so hard to open and then it, it clogs up so easily. Just sprinkle some of those in there. That's probably enough. Gonna mix that in and put the lid back on. Heat up that cream and thicken up that soup. When we check it later, if it's not thick enough, we add some more potato flakes. There's our finished potato soup. Now, at the end, you add just a couple tablespoons of butter. Just get it in there on top. Well, two, two and a half, three, something like that. Stir it in, melt it down, and get ready to scoop it up. It smells great. All right, so the butter's melted in. I'm going to dish it up. Hopefully I won't. Well, you know what? Oh, it's nice and thick. I can smell the bacon and everything. All right, so going to there, I have some buttered saltine crackers. That's how I like it. Got to add some green onion. I diced up a bunch. I love a lot of green onion. And some chopped up bacon. Yeah, not just the bacon in it, but also as a topping. And Mrs. Cheap will add some shredded cheese. She likes cheese on hers. Eh, not my favorite. I'll try a taste without the crackers, but I will add the crackers after the taste. This is such good comfort food. Easy in the crock pot. And we'll have leftovers, and that's not bad when it's getting kind of chilly. You like a good potato soup? You got another crock pot soup you like? Give us a comment. John Eats Cheap. Comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. We're ready to eat on a chilly night. Digging in.